Hi everyone and welcome to this Fallout 4 mod showcase taking a look at visible weapons. I've been waiting a long time for a mod like this and what it does is allows your weapon that's equipped to show up on your third person character. Functionality is currently limited and you will need three other mods in order for weapons to show up as well as the AKCR mod and I'll post all these down in the description below. Basically these three mods add static weapons to the game that are equipped on the player in armor slots. So to set up visible weapons, what you'll first need to do is obtain one of the static weapons. I've gone for the sniper rifle here, added by Armorsmith Extended. Once crafted, if you open up your pit boy, you'll find this static object in your inventory underneath apparel. Make a note of where it is, because we'll need that in a moment. Then head over to your weapons, and make sure you've got the weapon selected that you want the static object to appear for. So we're going to go for the sniper rifle here. Go along to aid, scroll all the way down to the bottom. It can take a while, especially if you're using controller and you'll get to the visible weapon setup or config. Open that up and link your current weapon. You'll get a message asking you to select the static in apparel. So we'll select sniper rifle and it says link complete. And that should be all it takes to set up the sniper rifle. And we'll see here in third person, if I equip the sniper rifle, it will disappear from the back of the character. And then if I holster it, it will reappear on the back. Now, for if any reason you get link complete, but the weapon doesn't move off the back, etc. There is a console command, which I've posted down in the description below, which you can enter in and this should fix any issues. It's also available in the comment section on the mod page. For me, this fixes one of my major gripes with Fallout 4. I hated the fact that you couldn't see your weapon on your character in third person. However, obviously it is limited at the moment and hopefully more functionality will be added to the mod in a later date and possibly, hopefully, animations. For now though, I'm happy with it and hopefully we'll see some of the modded weapons that have been added to the game have this functionality. If you want to check out the mod, you'll find a link down in the description below. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.